Hey, welcome back to A Faster Me. Um, this today's video is brought to you by Building Block Construction. You guys know the drill. All their information will be in the description. And today's race, we are at the Taylor Elizabeth Clifford Memorial Grand Prix. This is the P123 race for women. And today I have some guests with me. There's three riders I have with me. So I have Anastasia with me. Say hello. Uh, hi, everyone. I have Alexis here. Hello. And Marlena. Hi. All right, so ladies, what's going on in this race, and um, how do you guys feel about this race? Um, it was good. So, so this whole season, um, there's been a little bit of a change. So the threes can now race in the in the three, four, fives, or the P one, two, three. This was the first race where um, that that was not allowed. So this was my first race of the day, and normally the P123 is my second race of the day this season. So I felt fresher than I have, um, and, and it, was, it was a great field. Like it was, a, it was a pretty deep field. There was a good turnout, so I was excited um, to kick things off. Um, well, for me, it was, I think, my third race of the year. Um, I was. I, I felt good. It was a fast course um, with lots of attacks, but it it was it was fast and fun. Uh, this was the second race for me this year, but also this uh, day. Uh, I did Masters thirty five plus earlier in the day, so I was a little bit tired, but not too much. Mostly like just a really good warm up. Um, the field was very strong. There were a lot of attacks, like right and left, from the beginning. Uh, but it was really, really, really fun. Uh, it was nice to be in focus and just always kind of be actually like racing and um, looking out for the next attack. Yeah, and you have matching socks also right there that match our kit pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Shout out to Encycle Mommies. They pretty much controlled the pace of the race as far as like just repeated attacks and. You know, like uh, Marlena said, you have some big hitters in this race. You know, you have Kendall Ryan in this race. You had Holly Breck. You know, like I said, all the Encycle mommies um, also have Georgetta in this race. And a lot of new, younger, like Cat 2 and Cat 3 racers as well. So the first lap um, was pretty fine. Um, I think. There was just one bad section of pavement that we went right through, but the rest of the race, I think we all understood not to take that line. Um, it was not the fast line anyways. So then this is just wrapping up lap one. And so we're single file here. So um, a little bit fast, right? Things were heating up a little bit. Anastasia's third wheel, it looks like, up there. Um, you can see the purple and blue. Um, and I'm sitting right behind Emmy. So I was happy with this position. Um, you know, I've, I've been trying to get a good start this year and I think I um, leave my way okay through the, the first lap. Yeah, and you can see the map of the course in the top left. And this is, a, I believe it's a new course. We didn't do it the last few years. So this is our first time kind of coming out to this race. This is the section of the road Marlena was talking about that's pretty beat up. So, and the, you know, the event, uh, Majestic Cycling, Alfie's group put it on and they had a really good selection of preems and stuff. So here goes the first attack, basically. Yeah, yeah the calmness is over. This is where it all starts, <laughs> right and left. And what, yes. what I think we were on the lookout today for uh, was in breakaways, right? With such a deep field um, and a course like that's fast and Flowing with a strong headwind on one section, like that was the number one to number one thing to look out for. So I probably didn't need to hop on this first attack, <laughs> but it's Feline. Like she's she's very strong. She can keep herself away. Um, but I was just like getting my mind right to to jump on anything that looks threatening. Maybe should have saved it for another one. But this was it was fun. Like it's a fast start. And for me, I I always try to 
I don't know, maybe like the first 10 minutes of the race, I try to stay back a little bit and just like watch the field, how everyone flows and who attacks and who doesn't, who reacts and who doesn't. Um, and then I try to move up and I don't usually go after attacks unless I'm like the only one that like nobody's reacting to it and I then I do attack or like follow an attack because I don't like to like waste more energy than I have to. <laughs> I try to save myself always. Yeah. You're not volunteering for that ever. <laughs> no. <right>? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see it's a big effort too right now. Yeah. So this may have been a preem lap, and they did have a good number of preems out there. So that kind of added to the spice along with the in cycle mommies attacking. And then always like, it's always not good to go for the first attack. Like in this case, the in uh, cycle mommies always go for one attack, and then they counter attack. So I'm I always wait for the second attack because then if you follow the first one, you're tired for the second one and. I think it's smarter. <laughs> yeah, and Feline did a great job here pulling basically an entire lap. Um, you can see Emmy and everybody's still in the same place. So it's slowing down a little bit now. It's down to 21 miles per hour. So I would assume there's going to be a counterattack coming pretty soon. Yeah, and for me, I, if it's an option, I try to often like stay at the front. And if there is an attack, there's just less energy that I have to expend to catch the person. Um, and there's just less distance you have to cover. So that's kind of like why I like to stay more in like the top section if it's uh, an option, meaning like if it's, if it's really hard and sprung out, you kind of just find yourself in the back and then have to move up uh, back up front. Yeah, and that's an important point to point out too because sometimes people are a little bit too far back to where you can't react to a move. Um, that's another good um, reason to have teammates. And when you have teammates, you can relax a little bit. You can have some teammates near the front that can cover moves and then some that are a little bit recovering. So there goes Holly off the front there. So Marlena, what are you thinking here? Well, F Feline forced our hand. Like, um, she took that corner super wide, which opened up the inside. So then, of course, there was a uh, slow, it slowed. So a uh, perfect opportunity for Holly to counterattack is what happened. Um, it was... It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's a big effort. I mean, you're putting in a lot of watts to try to get back on here. It's a good job kind of reeling it back in. I also try to look out for, like, good riders that when there's an attack, they don't, like, go all out at first. They try to go at a, how do I say it? Like, at a steady pace. At, yeah, like yeah. steady. Just so I don't waste, like, energy. Like, yeah, and there goes Feline again. Them. Feline shoots back by. I think that was Feline, right? Yeah, well, one of the mommies shoots back by again, so the, another counter launched off of Holly's attack. So those are two big hitters right there in front of us. You got Joyce and um, Kendall right there in front, and then you see the mommies here are trying to run a little bit of interference. They're just trying to monitor the front and let their rider get off and, you know, open up a gap. So that's just good teamwork, good tactics, and, you know, obviously <laughs> we're, trying to, uh, we're trying to answer the bell here. But yeah, the, they're starting to um, swing left and right. So you see a little tricky turn there and you see Shawnee kind of runs wide, got the apex a little wrong. Um, that's one of the reasons why you do not want early apexes. Um, early apex always is a wide exit unless you have to scrub a lot of speed. You typically want a neutral to late apex and you usually want to approach that corner with a little more width. And you could tell, you could tell that's what was going on. Like, we took that, we were so, we were hugging the inside, um, which is not always the most comfortable, like, seeing that in front of you, so. Yeah, especially when you're not at the front, um, you know, and you've already initiated turn in, you're kind of on that plane. And if you're on a plane that's gonna force a wide exit, you just gotta be comfortable either turning tighter or being able to break, you know, trail break basically into the turn but she's back she made a recovery <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is the slowest i've seen the race so far down to 19 miles per hour so yeah you can definitely know that there's going to be another attack anytime the race gets slow someone's going to attack 
and obviously that's the perfect time to do it. Everyone waiting on that attack. Mm. Recovering a little bit and waiting. Yeah. There's Alexa. Yeah, on the Blue Canyon, that's Alexa. <laughs> Trying to move up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got Naomi right there from Evoke. Naomi's super strong as well. I uh, think she won the Masters race earlier in the day. She did, she did. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should have been a little closer. <laughs> yeah, but you have been at the front for the last couple laps and putting in, you know, some pretty good effort. So you're probably gassed a little bit here. We don't see your heart rate. Uh, yeah, because you don't have the monitor on. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, yeah, you've been putting in a decent amount of work at the front right here. And you can see the group is really stretched out now. Yeah, it, it was it was fast, right? I think it, I panicked a little seeing how many people were in front of me and when we were all stretched out. But like, there's nothing. We have 29, 28 miles an hour. Like, I just needed to relax, keep up, and then like it would we would slow down, right? Because this race was super surgy. So just like moving up when I could, like here, people start to coast a little bit. And so um, just using that opportunity to try and move up. This was the headwind section. Um, it was, it was pretty strong. Um, and it got stronger through the race and yes. through the day. Yeah, the weather looks beautiful now, but you can't tell, but it was raining earlier. So at the start of the day, it was raining, got a little windy. So yeah, it, it's a little deceptive. It looks clear and beautiful right now, but there was some difficult conditions here and there as well. Yeah, everyone looks like they're working really hard. Yeah, and I'm going backwards doing 290 <laughs> watts. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a fast race. Like you said, a lot of big hitters in it, fast race and a lot of good tactics. Yeah, it was always fast. <laughs> <laughs> so here I think I was panicking a little bit because I was so far back. Um, so tried to use this wheel to move to the front. I used that wheel to move up for speed. <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> yeah, low watts. You can yeah. see the watts are low right now. That's okay, great. that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You gotta take those wins where you can get yeah. them, right? <laughs> I did not let that one pass me by. Um, it's a, a little bit of a better position. And usually when I see Alexa, I know that I'm in an okay position. <laughs> you're good at holding your spot, and I think you're, you have good bike handling from the track, probably. And yes. you can see she's a little bit Yeah. She, uh, I crashed in training. What are pacing? Before. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta give Alexa some credit there too. Mm. Motor pacing the day before, crashed, got both their elbows and stuff wrapped up, and she's here to race. And I just point that out because you know we're always trying to say we need bigger fields and grow the field. Mm. And one philosophy we try to go by when I, I said this before when I used to race motorcycles is there's a saying that racers race. And it sounds stupid, sounds pretty simple, that racers race. And typically what it means is you find any excuse you can to race your bike. And unfortunately, a lot of people find any excuse they can to not race today, you know? And I think that's just something we all need to embrace and just try to look for any excuse we can to join the race. Marlena. Sorry, that was at the corner for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't take my own line. I followed the line in front of me. Um, that's something I've been working on. Um, so that was that was deep. just like cornering in a pack is not the most um, comfortable. Yeah, and so just felt good about that one. Um, and again, headwind section here, um, but I was moving up for some reason. <laughs> I think it was a good move. You just don't want to be too far back and don't want to be boxed in because you're pretty tight to the inside. Yeah. So I think it was a good move to move up and then move over to the left a little bit just to get a better angle for the next turn. 
And yeah. I think I was yeah. protected from the wind on this side. It looks like I, my watts are telling me that I was a little protected. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the wind was coming from the left side. Yeah. 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 So I'm not protected there. <laughs> well, yeah, and Anastasia's up second, third wheel too. So you guys are in pretty good position here. Most of you guys are somewhere near the front here. And there goes another attack going off. Yeah, I barely made it back to the front. <laughs> and then they attacked. Right, well, that's yeah. good. That was my strategy because then I'm not in the back chasing here. So Rebecca sat up right there. Well, of course, yeah. Her teammate's yeah. the one pushing the pace, so she's not going to want to use her own energy to get up there. You can see she's kind of glancing at you a little bit, too. She wants someone to come around. Yeah. Um, and then she's going to jump on your wheel, which is smart. You know, you don't want to chase your teammates, but if someone else is chasing your teammate, you're obviously going to jump on. So this is where I was worried about. Like I said previously, like I was just very preoccupied with the break getting away. So I saw this go. I think there were some mommies, Georgetta, like this. Yeah, it's dangerous. Like something I needed to chase. So I did the work to bring it back. Um, looked back, you could see my shadow, and I don't think anyone was helping going to help me or i don't think anyone was there i think i tried helping but i was split out <laughs> yeah and so definitely was a good job closing that gap you yeah. can see there's still someone off the front um but yeah that was a dangerous break you know you have some fast ladies up in that break there and if you don't close that gap they're gonna if they work together they'd have a chance of getting away mm -hmm. yeah I, yeah, I think one of the mommies is still off the front. You can see a little image up there turning right about now. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, so you're still working, trying to catch it. Obviously, yeah. you know, um, I think that was Feline. You, you know, whoever the mommy was that you just passed, you know they're not going to go chase their teammates. So you come around and still try to work. I think you're looking for some help here, though. Yes, yes, yes. very much. <laughs> Probably chicken wing in that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone, someone. But I think there was a mommy right on my ready yeah. to Which counter attack as soon as you catch up. Mm -hmm. Totally fair, right? Um, so, yeah, just kind of doing sweet spot. Well, kind of zone two for you, but Zone yeah. two, um, wasn't too worried about it, right? I, I Well, you did a big a effort goal. already, so at this point, yeah. if no one's going to help, that's just, it is what it is. Someone's going to get off the front. So I think... Someone was behind me telling me, I'm not going to help you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And that's then okay. this happens. And then... Yeah, and that's Holly. She's not trying to bring it back. She's trying to bridge solo. When you see someone put in that type and of effort Feline. and carry speed, they're trying to bridge solo. So so, so Feline was sitting right behind me and was said she wasn't going to help me. She rode by me and said, okay, now I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's exactly what happened there. I remember yeah, that. and that's smart. That's what you do. You have yeah. to recruit some help because she knows Holly's dangerous. So if Holly's up there, they want to be up there as well. Didn't really want to help her out then. <laughs> <laughs> Probably too Return, tired. Return yeah. the favor. <laughs> but no. I think also it's a it's a smart thing to do not to help if your teammate is up there because right. your teammate can also like go with Holly and break away and make yeah. a two two girl break away yeah usually they do it depending on who the person is like so if they know she's yes gonna make it, if right? they know she's gonna make it then they would let her but if they think maybe she's not gonna make it then of course it's gonna they want someone else in that break yeah. and especially if you want to win too you might want someone that can win the sprint out of a break as well mm -hmm. so but yeah you're right You've, even even two people could could get away if they're both strong riders well, in this case, I think I would just let it, Holly go and let mm -hmm. the other writers work for it because, yeah. I mean, there's a big field. Like, anyone else can work for it. Yeah. And obviously, like, Kendall or Colleen, they don't want the breakaway. So right. they're going to do something for it. Yeah, to come back. that's exactly what I was going to say. If, like, because Kendall's in this race, she probably would not uh, let the break go away unless she thinks the field will catch them. Yeah. yeah, and the problem is, too, like, they're strong enough, like what Holly is doing. The difference is they're not going to chase it. They're yeah. going to put in a massive effort and bridge. They're not going to work to pull everybody else up yeah. there. As you can see, Holly's, too, how she did it. She's not going to work with someone to bring it back. She's going to just go really hard and bridge it by herself. 
And I think Kendall would basically do the same. She's not on it right now, so she's not too concerned about it, but I think she'd rather bridge it than, than bring it back. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's yeah. Since everyone else is working for it, she's just gonna stay there. Yeah, and I think like her and Joyce like may be working together on this one. Obviously, Wait. they're not on the exact same team, but they're affiliated and know each other. So, yeah, so you know, you kind of don't have as many teammates to work with. You may have one other person that will help you. So, yeah, I think definitely they're not going to work to bring it back. But if the opportunity presents itself, they're going to just put in a hard move and then bridge. Whereas you can see, she just went on a hard move right there to try to bridge. It wasn't a smooth pull like to to solicit some help. It's like, no, I'm going and I don't want anybody coming with me. And that's what you do because sometimes you don't want to start the break. But if you got two, three people that are strong already in the break, then you'd bridge to it. You, but you don't only want to use that effort unless you know there's three or four people in there that can can last the distance. Yeah. And if it's not the right three or four people, then save your energy. Hey, you guys have been going pretty fast though for a pretty steady time now. Your watts have been fairly high. Probably a little bit more work than you should be doing, but you know, you're kind of in that spot now, so you're kind of committed to still putting in that work and trying to bring it back. And here you go again. Um, the mommies want to get some more people in that break because probably they see Kendall and different strong riders in there, and they don't want their teammate to be outnumbered against four other riders. So they want to get another girl up there as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, I could be wrong, but that's my assessment. <laughs> Yeah, I just think like I was so zeroed in on if there was gonna be a break, like do what you need to do to get in there. Oh, <laughs> I think you're doing yeah, you're, way you're too trying much to work. She's trying to pull it back now though because well, so, so I yeah. saw um, there was a mom. So good corner, by the way. Thank you. Um, there was a mommy playing interference with. Right there that you just passed, I think it was Taylor Mays. Yeah, so she, we were kind of talking a little bit. Um, I think she was behind me here. <laughs> um, so, and, yeah. It's another great dig, though. You see, like, obviously the breakaway's not working together. So whoever's up there doesn't seem like they're willing to work because they're not going as fast. You're not putting, you're putting in a hard effort. This is big watts, but you're not putting in a truly anaerobic effort. So they're not going that hard up there. They're not working together. So that worked to your benefit that they're not willing to work up front. So you're able to bring it back pretty, I wouldn't say easily as far as effort, but it was a short amount of time. It was only basically one and a half straightaways. Oh, and then Jazz saved me because I was definitely fading. And so I was really happy to have her come around. Um, and then just I could focus on her wheel and then we bridged, which was nice. Um, yeah. Of course a counter attack, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> of course. But like well played. Yeah. yeah, as soon as they caught, another one takes off. It's very very good. Yep. Yeah. That's the power of having teammates. Yeah. Like if somebody else or another team was willing to keep it fast here, then those counter attacks wouldn't come off as easy. But if it's gonna slow down to the low 20s or even in the teens, they're definitely gonna launch a counter attack. Oh. I'm paying for that a little bit now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the price you pay for speed. You gotta put in that effort. If yeah, you're not on somebody's wheel, you got to, yeah, it's just the price you pay. So I was fast again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you didn't want to go with that one, Alexa? With what? You started to go, she started to go I, with the move, and then she jumped in the pack when the move went up the left side. Yeah, I waited. I, yeah. I don't know. I think that was, because I sometimes, sometimes I just wait. For other people to go mm -hmm. because I like to move with the group right um, it's more efficient yeah um, because maybe like during during the race I'm not feeling like the strongest to mm -hmm. like keep on going for the tax so I like to move with the group and just let the pack take me. 
Yeah, and shout out to Mansion right there in front of her. I think is this her first race? Her first yeah. Yeah, first P123 race. So she was a little nervous before the race, but she did a great job just hanging in there, staying with the pack, doing a good job, you know, and it's good to just get your feet wet and jump in there and get rid of some of those, you know, some of those nerves. So again, saw something going up the road. And I, I was going up anyways. I think your teammates are abusing you now. That's was right did. there. And she's no. like, I'm not going. I'm not going to go chase that. And then Marlena's like, I'll do it. You know? Well, I, I, was, I was trying to, like, find a slot to go in, but it was not happening. So I was like, okay. Hey, if you volunteer, they're going to yeah. definitely nominate you. So, yeah. But sometimes I see Marlena and I'm like... Don't go, just wait, <laughs> <laughs> recover. <laughs> yeah. But I just think to myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, instead of like, let somebody else chase yeah. it, right? Yeah. They're going to do it too. Somebody else is going to chase it. Because like like in that break, or almost a break, mm -hmm. there weren't like the strongest people. Uh, of course, Georgetta can yeah. t like do a break. But I knew we had more people in the pack mm -hmm. than the break so it was like okay somebody else is gonna is gonna go yeah that's For one sure. of the keys you have to pay attention to who's going and if they can make it do they have help and will the other girls in the peloton or is anyone else motivated to chase that and if you know that somebody else is in the group then of course you can use their energy you don't have to chase everything but i think it's good that you came to play today you came to race you came to put in your effort and you did a great job. Like that's, you're showing your ability, of course. So obviously there could be some fine tuning, but physically you obviously have the ability to, to run up front in these races. And it, it is really different not having raced before in the, mm -hmm. in the morning because I could recover from those efforts. Like it wasn't, I wasn't dying yeah. in this race, I would say. I mean, I, I did a, ooh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I did a lot of work, but I wasn't like, I didn't. The only one I remember feeling was that one where Jack yeah. Like yeah. the rest was just kind of. Well, I have to brag and say you're in good shape. You have good fitness. <laughs> but I, <laughs> but I think that's like I said, like the breakaway. I thought I like I didn't go. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm looking for in like the first 10, 15 minutes of the race. Like who's able to like stay away? Who's like reaching like mm -hmm. that's what i look for the first 10 to 15 minutes and i think that's why i'm like okay no i'm not gonna go on this time mm -hmm. like because there's certain breakaways that i do go for mm -hmm. and i'm like okay i do have to take this one mm -hmm. yeah, even if i'm tired i take it yeah that's and this one was more. dangerous because i think it was kendall and holly that shot up the inside right by the start finish line and they got away but i don't know why like the group is once they're in these breaks, like they're, they were in two breaks of about six people, but they weren't, the group wasn't willing to work. As you can see up there, there's a group that's away and that's pretty much all the really strong riders up there and, but they're not cooperating. So they could have easily, I shouldn't say easily, but they could have probably ridden away from the group here, but they weren't willing to work. And it could, I don't know who it is that's, you know, slowing the group down, but all those women that were in that break right there are really strong. Yeah, so for whatever reasons, everyone has their own. And maybe they just want it to come down to a sprint, you know? Maybe there's a couple people that just said, no, we want it to be a sprint no matter what. So, yeah, that just might be what it is. And, of course, the mommies attack again right when it went to the low 20s. <laughs> and there goes Marlene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not the mommies. Yeah, no, like, she's, doing, she's doing a good yeah. job, but I feel like... <laughs> way yeah, too much yeah. work for like mm -hmm. there's 30 girls behind her you know yeah that yeah. can help yeah no it is a little too much work i mean again you try to work for you when you do work it should benefit you or your teammates basically mm -hmm. so so here it was camilla and laurel yeah road, I think. Oh, okay. and so india pulled up and was running was trying to let Camilla get away. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but and it's but crazy because Camilla didn't actually make it there. You could tell, you could tell yeah. Camilla was struggling. So I mm -hmm. looked over, I said to India, hey, like, she's hurting up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, hoping that we could, like, rally and, and bring the two ladies back. Um, 
Yeah, because I think she gave a good, like, one, maybe one or two lap effort, but I don't think she ever made it up to Laurel. Yeah. And it was, so LA Crits has it all on live stream, mm -hmm. and then they have drone shots. And so it was really cool watching the second half of the race uh, on the live stream and the drone shots together, because you yeah. could see it all happening, and so you could, you could tell in the, in the drone shot what was going on here. Yeah, because you guys are at your slowest point on this stretch right here, only 18 miles per hour. So, yeah, definitely not not pushing the pace here. And then one of the, I think the young lady from Legion goes by and, um, you know, picks up the pace a little bit. Yeah, that's when I come back to the front, I think, because I was finally able to. <laughs> You're like, you went slow enough. <laughs> Recovered. Yeah. yeah. Recovery time. Yeah, I forgot that um, the other young lady, from, I think from Jamaica, was in from Legion as well. So yeah. there's kind of two Legion teammates and then um, Joyce as well. Yeah, I know Joyce is, I think, for Austin Outlaws now. Yeah. But who knows, you know? Yeah, I think Lori was in this race too. Yeah. yeah. She's also very strong. Yeah, she, she was racing really well. Yeah, definitely has raced even better since the beginning of the season. You can tell like she's definitely getting used to the field. Mm -hmm. Is that Georgetta? Yes. Yeah, Georgetta and one of the mommies. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, Georgetta, one of the mommies, and Marlena. <laughs> 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 yeah. I just wanted to. I just wanted yeah. to be there. No, it's good. Racing your bike is good. Like you're you're racing. That's what yeah. it is. I mean, like I said, we can fine tune, you know, when you do efforts and all that, but just being racy is a good sign. It's early in the season. We got, you know, a lot of races to go. So, yeah, this will uh, pay off well in, in later races. And like my mom always says, choose your battles. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. And that's how you learn. Yeah, because you can see here, like, it's still not a real coordinated effort, you know what I mean? People are still playing games. There goes Holly yeah. up the left again. Holly and maybe Taylor going up the left there. Again, going backwards, doing 300 and squats. Um, yeah, it's just the, you can tell actually your legs are fatiguing a little bit. You can tell your snap's a little slower. So, and that's really what it is. It's like, you, it's just the timing. Like if you don't react to some of these attacks, you know, in a, in the proper timing, then of course it makes it hard on yourself to kind of put in a big effort to get back on. So, so this race lasted a total of 48 minutes. We covered 19 miles at 23.7 miles per hour average, and my normalized power was only 237. So, and what was your average? Two twenty. Yeah, that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of work because both of them are fairly close together. Usually you'll be more efficient if you have a lower average and a little bit higher normalized. But they're fairly close to each other, so you put in a fairly consistently hard effort. I was worried it was going to be more. Yeah, no. I mean, 238, I mean, 237 is not, like, super high for you, but it's also not that easy as well. When you see how you put those efforts in, there's a lot of anaerobic efforts in here. So it's kind of like doing a sprint workout where you're doing like 30 sprints, you know, <laughs> that's a Basically, lot of, that's yeah. a lot of effort, puts a lot of strain on your legs. There it goes another mm -hmm. one. Well, you see, she shut it down too right here. Yeah. So I think she really was just monitoring Kendall, didn't want Kendall to get to the front. So it looks like we're down to maybe five laps to go. This might be like the last five-ish laps, five or six laps to go. So definitely getting down to crunch time now. And, and you could tell we, everyone was more tired because as the race went on, like the corners just got Sloppier, <laughs> right? Yeah. I think it was, it was an exciting race. It was like we're all um, a little red lined. Yeah. Hopefully not just me. 
Yeah, I know. Some of us are very red line. Some of us, this was our last lap with a group. <laughs> That's what I was telling myself. It's like, if, if I'm hurting, they're hurting. Yeah. But maybe Definitely. not this bad. Yeah. They weren't yeah. um, doing as much. Yeah. But that's that's good to think about because if they're hurting, I mean, if you're hurting, they're hurting, and yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I feel like everyone hurts differently too, because I mean, some people are just basically trying to survive, coming up like, off from like I guess some kind of injuries, and other people are there to win. That was so. a good corner. Yes. Yeah, yeah, good line. <laughs> you're good. She took a really good um, yeah. line there to. And you can just see the difference of lines there. When someone runs really wide like that and you hit a proper apex, you can easily make up like 10 yards on them. And Alexa was not even in the front there and passed maybe five girls in about one corner. And I don't mean like, you know, leading up to the corner, just simply hitting a better apex past about five girls. And I try to do that always. Like if I'm in the inside and I'm in the back, I try to go in like for the inside line mm -hmm. because I know they're going to take the wide right and that's that's how I, I move up like almost all the races <laughs> yeah instead of like pushing hard in the straightaway yeah all right there goes those tired legs right here <laughs> little little no no snap in the legs here so but yeah you do need to recover i would say just make sure you're still attached obviously and you'll recover a little better yeah. so just a little bit closer to those wheels there Yeah, we're definitely down to about five laps to go. If I'm still there, that means it's uh, more than uh, five laps. More so than this, five? This is probably going to be like a fifth or, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going into five. I okay, just, that means, yeah, yeah. I will disappear. Because it looks like we have about 11 minutes left, and I think you guys are going a little oh, bit exactly. over two minutes a lap. Yeah. yeah. So. And then this is Evelyn in front of me. Mm -hmm. um, this is also her first P1-2-3 race and first race of the season. I think she's going for collegiate nationals this year. Mm. Um, so I'm happy to have her back out. Um, like, we raced a couple times last season. Mm. But yeah, I'm probably too far back to be this far into the race. And more importantly, you're just eating a little wind right now. You gotta just be drafting someone mm. here. Even if you're back, it's not that big of a deal, long as you can recover. But since you're off to the side, you're eating a little bit too much wind using a little bit too much watts. Even though it wasn't the highest amount of watts, you still should be using less and you'll recover faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fast race. You can tell like, you didn't get too much rest here and there, you know? A little bit mm -hmm. here and there, but other than that, you guys were, it was pretty punchy. Yeah. So, Anastasia, you had raced earlier. How did this race compare to your earlier it was a lot faster and a lot more dynamic. Uh, I guess the one big difference is that in the earlier race, um, the, my teammates and I were the ones doing all the attacks and controlling the race, and here it was the mommies. Yeah, and you podiumed. Yes, yes, and I won uh, the sprint lap. Yeah. I, but I think also no one was going for it. But it was, <laughs> you it won fun. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, my legs were definitely like, oh, had yeah. some work on that. Yeah. Yeah, but as you can tell, like you said, you guys were the ones doing the attacks in the earlier race, and you controlled the race. It's a little different on your body when you know when the attacks are coming, when you know when the efforts are coming. It's a little different on your body, and it's definitely different on your brain and your uh, your psyche a little bit while you're racing. Yeah, yeah. And it's always better to be the one applying pressure. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's, it was nice. It was fun for Ooh, things to like. Yeah. So this, so that. I got a little spooked, I'm not gonna lie, with that corner. But so that, like, there was just a little bit more and more of that every lap as we were coming to the finish. So, again, why I don't love being back here, I knew I needed to move up once I saw that, because so I wouldn't totally get mental. Um, but I think I, I, I mean, I paid, I paid for that. Yeah. Because everyone is the... Yeah, this one's not free. No. Yeah. But I think for, for the sake of, Safety. Trying oh. to, to um, and forget safety. about it. Yeah. 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 yeah, and safety. You just don't want to be back there, especially the last few laps. I know it's five crazy. seems like a lot, but everyone starts to get a little anxious. Everyone knows it's winding down. And yeah, everyone knows it's getting you know closer to crunch time. So when there's four or five laps to go, 
you don't want to be making mistakes you don't want to go back because sometimes you don't have time to recover from them mm -hmm. and i don't mean recover physically as far as like being tired but just making up the spots that you need to make up to get back in position but again here you can tell like you're a little bit slow like as far as punchiness you still have decent watts but they're just your legs just seem a little bit slow now But again, still a great effort. You're still racing. You still have your race brain turned on. So yeah, I think it's a good race. I think it's a good effort and a lot that you can build on from here. Yeah, and in the front. Mm hmm And the important last stops. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you could be a little more patient right there. You could have just sat on the Legion Rider's tail for a little bit longer. Even here, when this move goes, you don't have to be first to go. But since you're so far to the left, you're pushing your own wind again. Yeah. So you definitely should have stayed to the right. Just be a little more patient and let these other girls put in the effort mm -hmm. while you're still attached. <laughs> yeah, this is where I shoot to the back. Doing 400 watts, shooting to the back. This wow. is where I, to so I totally, this is where I lost it. So, um. I, I like in a blink of an eye you're at the back mm -hmm. I just you're right I should have been more protected in that section and in this this straightaway it was always better to be in the inside yeah because mm -hmm. mm. yeah, all I the wind was on the left yeah. right yeah yeah it's very important any well, not only just being protected in general but being protected on the right the correct side mm -hmm. is important as well But again, you're here. You're still here. You still have a chance. They're still pushing. Mm -hmm. When it gets bunched up like this, I panic a little bit. But Sherry's a friendly wheel. That was a good little slot in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just, you know, like I said, it's just four, three to four laps to go. I think it's three to go, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah three to go here. So, yeah, it's, it's crunch time. That's all. No one wants to really give up too many spots now. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to be towards the front, at least in the top ten spots. But you see the pace is not that hot, though, because people are side by side. Right. Yeah. yeah, if it's not stretched out, it's not going fast enough. There goes Alexis shooting by. Yeah, good job hard. on the wheel. <laughs> I was trying to stay at Joyce's wheel because mm. she's a good wheel to stay behind when there's attacks. She yeah. goes steady. And she was running well. She just won the week before. So, yeah. you know, she's on a high. So, and she won it pretty good, like with the fairly early sprint, you know, uh, pretty, pretty long sprint. But she had a decent gap, too, um, and just held everybody off to the line. So it's always good when someone's winning and riding well that, yeah, usually they're going to make good decisions near the end. Mm -hmm. And definitely in the last couple laps in a field like this, that's kind of what you want to do. You, you know, you want to have some trust in some of the riders that you know are going to be there at the end. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I don't know, maybe for me, like, I'm not a, like, a sprinter, so I'm not as explo ex explosive, explosive. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, as like maybe Kendall, mm -hmm. so I don't, I don't know. Maybe like the last two laps, I don't go after Kendall's wheel. Yeah. Because I know I'm not gonna stay on her wheel when she starts sprinting. Mm -hmm. So for me, like Joyce is a better wheel to be behind. Yeah. When sprinting. It's very smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are still there, still moving, still in decent position. I don't remember any of this. It looks like two laps to go, or going into two laps to go when we pass the finish sense. line. I think there's going to be two laps to go. You're not in bad position here, though. You just got to stay attached to a wheel with a little bit more urgency. But all those efforts from earlier, they're starting to take the toll now, too. And like the legs are a little slower, a little sluggish. Mm -hmm.
I don't think I I I don't think I noticed that I was actually no, I definitely noticed. But like I was just so dead set on working on a couple things where I was not focusing on <laughs> how my legs were feeling. Um which probably need to add to my focus list for the next race. Yeah, and it happens like late in the race like this is where you I mean it happens to a lot of us it happens to everybody at some point but late in the race is where like really where all your focus needs to be this is where your, all your efforts need to be these last couple laps and sometimes when you put in work earlier it just puts you in a little bit of a trance and you end up falling back at the wrong time this 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 part I remember this is where I definitely lost it so I was like trying to stick to her wheel and I didn't realize that she had opened up a gap, but we were also going hard. Um, and so that that last 400 watt effort is what got me. Yeah. Um, I think Evelyn made a little late turn there where she ran it wide as well. Yeah. And so, yeah. Now I'm in the back where I didn't want to be. Yeah, so I think this is the last lap yes. here. Yeah, yeah you're, you know, honestly though, because they slowed down here, they still gave you a chance. Mm -hmm. They still gave you a chance. You just got to slot in there. She you got to figure out where up. to get in. No. Yeah, she's moving yeah. up, but she just has to get in, though. Like, yeah, you don't want to do this whole effort by yourself. It's like, hey, if they're going to slow down and give me a chance, then you jump back in there. You got to get in there. And they're behind Joyce. <laughs> yeah, you're like yeah. six wheel, right? Fifth yeah. wheel, maybe? And then we swarm a little bit. Here. Yeah, for sure. And I think Sherry was trying to maybe help you out here, but like like you said, when she went by, it kind of kind of kind of fast with a little speed and there was someone on her wheel already and then sherry goes and tries to stretch everyone out so she goes straight to the front if i'm not mistaken but you know she ends up getting swarmed like maybe a turn later but that's definitely what started the speed going there yeah so you only got like two turns to go now i think yeah. So this is the end for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Alexa on the right side over there, kind of tucked in. I think you just lost one spot to India there, but then yeah. you went around and tried to stick on her wheel there. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. yeah, you're not too bad there going into the corner, Alexa. I think you're a seventh, eighth wheel. Yeah. yeah. But I was, I was a little bit, I think I was like, fourth wheel or fifth wheel on the last turn um, no 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 like before that turn oh gotcha um but I, like you said i lost it when india went gotcha um, over me yeah because i could see you right there and now you're maybe like eighth wheel yeah and i started sprinting i think i got like ninth or ten. yeah i think you're ninth if i remember correctly Nine. yeah it's a good finish you know like you said just losing those spots in the mm -hmm. last turn but yeah so yeah the race is over so thank you guys for watching uh, we'll try to get out the Victorville stage races pretty soon. And, yeah, we'll see you next time.